Hi folks, Sigurd Ross Taylor. Today we're going to take a closer look at a 2023 Venture RV Stratus model 261 VRB, rear bathroom. Couple trailer, uh, 31 foot 11 inch overall length, that's including the tongue. It weighs 6,490 pounds, so just shy of 6,500 pounds. Uh, great little trailer, we love the Stratus, they look very sharp. And they're super well equipped. So, let's just go around, take a look at those uh, equipment. At the front, we have an electric tongue jacks, two times 20 pounder. Before we go any further, uh, the exterior still needs a bath, so it may look a little dusty. So, it's not how we deliver our trailers, but uh, I'm ahead of the game today with the video. But So, if you see some dust, it's just because the trailer haven't got a bath yet. So, electric tongue jacks, 20 pounder. We love the 20 pounder. They're easier to handle, lighter. Battery disconnect. Stone guard, beautiful front window on it. We're gonna see that when we go inside. We're gonna take a look here. Just a quick peek, because it's pretty tight with the other uh, unit in the shop. But pass-through storage, I really like the size of the storage. Look, there's not gonna be any issue putting your bins in here. Uh, black tank flush, your docking station. So your city water connection, your fresh water tank fill, outside shower with hot and cold. There's a little. Uh, hose that comes with it and cable sunlight uh, ready right here as well the rest is on the outside in the back I'm gonna go around this side there is actually a motion detector light in the cubby and there's also a switch on the wall that's for the blue LED light that is under the trailer now nice size compartment slam latch handle magnetic holder Rain gutters, spout extension, including the rear of the trailer. The rear wall also has a gutter and spout extension. 18 foot electric awning with LED lights on the roller too. Water heater runs on gas and electrical. There's four Caesar jack on that. The underbelly is also enclosed and heated and your spare tire is also located right underneath the trailer. Furnace, 30,000 BTU, folks, not 18 or 20, 30,000 BTU. Range hood is vented outside. Back of your fridge, it's nice to see a vent on the side. That means our trailer is equipped with a gas electric fridge. There's a power outlet right here. 15 inch Goodyear tires, endurance tires, radials on aluminum wheels, nitro fuel. The new steps, very sturdy. Large foldable entry handle. There's a bottle opener, doggy shoulder. Uh, the screen door uh, self-closed. There's a, a little spring in here. And new this year, they introduced the Lippert screen defender. It's actually a metal mesh. It prevents your pet from running right through the screen door. Outside kitchen, well, there won't be any complaint here. Fridge, griddle, fridge, uh, sink, without and cold. Entertainment system, 40 inch TV. AM, FM, CD, DVD, Bluetooth, USB, auxiliary, HDMI. Here on the exterior, there's another one inside. A switch for the blue light. Outside speakers. A little bit of storage. Nothing is missing on the outside kitchen. One other thing that I really like is, of course, the thickness of that compartment. And decent size struts on it to uh, open and close. At the back, roof ladder. Backup camera ready, and a trailer hitch that can handle 250 pounds, perfect for your bike rack. Now right beside it, we get, we get to see something we don't get to see very often. The valve for your low point drain, as well as your freshwater tanks, they're all steel, they're residential quality. So that's kind of nice. You know, something that we don't get to see because it's under the trailer. And on this side, detachable power cord, or slide out. Double wiper seal, there's another one behind. That's in the track, it's not coming out. Rack and pinion system underneath. Two gray tank, totaling 64 gallon. Freshwater tank, 45 gallons, and black, 32 gallons. So the tanks are very large on this. On the inside. couple things when we come in we'll get back to it but let's start right here at the front with the kitchen uh well first of all farmer style stainless stick sink stainless steel sink very deep one piece 
with a restaurant style tap really like that uh, there's no edge to the countertop that's getting to be pretty much standard uh, plywood build drawers ball bearing hardware the whole drawer comes right out always a spot for a garbage can flush mounted by fold glass top on the tree burner stove cast iron grill really like it uh, this one is made by Furion. I really like the quality. Uh, the knob lights up as well. The quality of the oven is just like at home. It's animal finished. Very nice. There's also a cutting board at the back that's etched with the logo of the company. So it is a venture product and it does fit on the sink. We talked about the Ranger being vented outside, folks. I mentioned it because half the trailers on the market is not. It's just air recirculating inside. What's the point of that? Your microwave, lots of storage. There shouldn't be any issues for all of the dishes that you need to bring. And even the end cabinet has a spot to charge your phone or your tablet. There's a power outlet and a 12 volt outlet right there. Now right beside, we have a thermostat for the AC and the furnace. And right above it, we have the 30 amp charge controller for the 100 watt solar panel that's already mounted on the roof. Right beside the stove, we have something quite unusual nowadays an 8 cubic foot gas electric traditional gas electric rv fridge so this thing runs on gas um, the trend over the last few years has really been 12 volts this is slowly going away but it's still one of my favorite uh, big pots and pan drawers i really like everything closed properly venture rv they know how to make their drawers Okay, our slide out, we have our dining area, traditional. We do not have an option for a freestanding table and chair with the Stratus product, but I really like the dining because of the extra storage underneath the bench and they're giving you two big bin. So my wife would say, take that to the house and fill it up, please. So it'd be perfect, you know, to make sure you bring everything into the trailer for that weekend camping. All the blind or all the, the windows have pleated shades. I like them that they're black. There's lots of LED lights around as well. There's even a skylight with a blind. When it's new, it's a little stiff. AC ducted with closable vent. Our sofa is a tree pulled sleeper sofa. You want to bring some friends or the kids wants to come for a weekend, no issues. You'll sleep very well on this sofa. And right across from it is the entertainment system. 40 inch TV, again the same stereo we have outside, the MFM, CD, DVD, Bluetooth, USB auxiliary and HDMI. There's a little bit of storage underneath. There is a fireplace that do provide heat electrically and there is a place to store your extra shoes or slippers. The furnace is also ducted through the floor as you can see there's a, there's a vent right there. Now, right by the door we have a rack on the wall to hang your coat. There's a motion detector light right when you come in. And there's this huge walk-in pantry. I guess we can call it this way. Also with a motion detector light and some hooks on the wall for your coat. But this place is huge. All right, let's do the bathroom, we're right here. So this is uh, well, the RB stand for rear bathroom, and they didn't miss on this one. It's huge. 36 by 30 shower. There's a liner, there's a skylight, there's a designer curtain. Uh, there's still room for 6 to 8 inch above my head, and I'm wearing some pretty thick boots. And I'm 5 foot 8. So if you're 6 foot, that's not going to be an issue. Uh, counter again, there's no seam on it. Stainless steel sink. Nice little designer tap. I'm really liking that. There's a beautiful corner medicine cabinet very unusual in RV bathrooms windows there's a bathroom window here as well that opens uh, storage below the sink the little cabinet right there as well now the back it's kind of odd but what it does hide is a spot for a washer dryer combo uh, the water is there and uh, evacuation for your water as well and there's a power outlet that's designed or a washer dryer and the counter is kind of nice once it's finished you can put it in the counter and fold it up there's a mirror there's a power outlets as well I really like that now this extra storage is being used by 
partially because of the outside kitchen, but above is all storage. That goes all the way to the end. And here's a perfect spot to stack up your linen and your towels. Full flush porcelain toilet, power fan, LED lights, LED lights on a switch. There is a night light motion detector, LED as well, right here. And we have the famous Level Mate Pro, which is a little device that will sync to a Bluetooth connectivity to your phone. Uh, you download an app and it will tell you when you are level, the trailer is level, side to side and front to back. So overall, the bathroom is incredible. Front bedroom. Real door to the bedroom. First thing we notice is the amount of room we have at the foot of the bed. It is a true queen size bed, 60 by 80. There is struts underneath plywood made bed base. This base has been uh, separated from the outside storage so your dirty chairs and barbecue will not get mixed up with your dirty extra blankets and pillows. Shirt closets, very nice but the one thing that I really like, there's a real bar in there as well. The one thing I really like is they actually use the space behind that's normally wasted. There's a little shelf, there's a power outlet and there is also a USB outlet on each side. Front window has a blind. There's LED lights by the bed. There's storage above. Now in the corner, we're ready for a bedroom TV. There's a place for a TV mount. Nice little frame on the wall. And the last thing, it is an option. We put it on this one. Is a rain censored thermostat controlled remote control max air fan. It works on 12 volts. Uh, you set your temperature, it will keep it. Or you can choose to go manual and just choose the speed you want. You can either move the air out or in. And if it starts raining, the lid would automatically close. There's also a light switch on the wall. Folks, I think we've done it. Uh, awesome couple trailers. It's not too heavy, very towable. It's not too big, 2111, so about 28 foot of box. Uh, super well equipped. Nothing's missing on this trailer. This is. A great trailer. We're very excited to, to have it. In fact, I think it's coming with us to the 2023 RV show at the EY Center in Ottawa, February 3rd to the 5th. So folks, uh, if you have any questions, please give us a call or better yet, stop by. I'll be happy to show you. I think we've done it. Thanks for watching.